Hello everybody and get set for some yoga. Looks like we are good on my side, so let's get you good on your side. First off, before we get started today, please remember to be safe as we go through our yoga practice and only do what is good for you. Welcome. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Choose Your Own Yoga Adventure. I am Spike the Dragon, and today I'll be your dungeon, I mean, yoga master, as we adventure through O&O and yoga together. I've got tons of notes in my DM manual that are going to help us to go through a crazy yoga adventure. So to get started, I would like to recommend that all of you look at the playlists down here. Your first choice is what music you listen to. It can be some MLP, it can be some Lord of the Rings, or it can be anything else that you're interested in. The other thing I'll ask you to do as we get set up here is to go on to the Discord and into the chat at the proxy stage server, and that is where we're gonna be voting. So I'm just gonna say hello. We will be voting and if you are joining me today live from the trotcon website you should be able to see the chat down there as well but we'll be doing a little bit of multitasking and if that's too much we can just sit back and enjoy so as we go through the day i'm going to provide you with some prompts and for that we're going to be just adding in a couple of um, choices for your choose your own yoga adventure here See if I can do it live, right? And it'll get a lot faster after this, I promise, but I wanted to make it super fun for you all. Okay, so make sure you've got your Discord chat chatting. I see a few of you. And feel free to say in there, uh, again, if there's anything that you're interested in because you get to choose what you're doing. Okay. So here's our first one. Dang. Let's see how that looks. Pretty fancy, huh? Okay, so in chat, type in your choice for how you want to start your yoga session. Right? I mean, I've got my O&O board here. You begin your journey today at TrotCon Online, either in the morning or the end of the day, depending on where you're at. As you see the prompts, you wonder, should I begin my yoga sitting down, standing, or just laying on my back? Right? Okay. Okay, one wants to do seated. And again, you can change it and do whatever you want. Just because I tell you to do something doesn't mean you have to listen to me. Okay, standing, seating, anybody else? Okay, we are going to, since we did both, say but you can get the tiebreaker. We'll start standing. How about that? So get your yoga mat. Oop, where's my yoga mat? There it is. Nice and set up. If you don't have a yoga mat, again, just a nice sturdy piece of floor. And let me pull my mic down here just in case. Okay, so to get started with yoga today, roll your shoulders back and down. And if you're seated, you can do the same exact thing. If you're standing, Try and get a nice balance centered between both feet. Maybe try and lift up your toes and then set them down one at a time. Just roll your shoulders back and notice your body. Begin to notice your breathing wherever you are, either keeping your eyes closed or gentle gaze. If you're standing and your balance is off, that's okay. Find what works for you. As part of the Riftwing Designs brand, 
we do Bob Ross yoga here. So whatever feels right for you, please do. And now that we're here, we're gonna set our intention. Your intention can be anything from a hope for the future to a way that you wanna focus inside for today. It has to be adventure and trying new things. But if that doesn't suit you, choose your own intention now. And the way that we seal our intention is we're gonna do a couple breaths. So first inhale and exhale. Then take your arms, inhale, sweep them up above and then keep them wide, sweep them down. Another inhale up. This time put your palms together, pull them down to your heart. And then to seal it in, think of that intention. Big inhale and let it all go with a big exhale. All right, yogis, for our adventure today. We'll begin by interlacing those fingers and pressing them out in front of you. Find a nice big stretch here, wherever you are, whatever works for you. Maybe bring some motion. Just get those wrists warmed up here. And then maybe unwrap your fingers, rotate those shoulders in and out. We've done shoulder rolls before. Someone didn't do some shoulder rotations. It looks like you're bulking up, right? You gotta get ready to beat those dungeon creatures. And then as you're ready, maybe we start to do some swimming motions. So hands one way and then the other. Find those warm ups for your arms and shoulders. And then the first challenge is, whatever way you're going already, try and go the other way. <laughs> awesome. And just like we did before, maybe do a couple shoulder rolls now in the middle. And we're gonna go to the back and try and clasp your hands behind you. So if you're seated, you might need to scooch up. And just grab your hands so I have a thing where I can't interlace my hands behind my back, so I grab my wrists instead. But if you can interlace your fingers, go for it. I just grab my wrists, because again, you have to do what works for you. And here, maybe even invite a gentle back bend. And now that we've done that, just let everything go. Maybe give it a little shake. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, go to one side. Inhale up, and the other side, and start to do a little twist. So if you're seated here, same thing. Just go from side to side, warming up the spine now that we've gotten the shoulders done. And you can make these as big or as small as you want. If you want, you can widen your stance and pretend like you're lifting giant boulders. Have fun with it. Do what your body tells you. You need to stretch right now. And then when you're ready, we're going to come back up and this time we're going to do a fold. So it can be a wide legged or a short legged fold or if you're seated, just fold forward. Let your neck and the lower back go. And breathe here. If you've taken classes with me before, you know that I'm big on aids. So if you have something like a block to, as an equipment for your adventure, you can use that either a block, paper towel, book, can, anything really just to hold you here. And if you want, if you have a chair or a desk or a wall nearby, another way to do a neat forward fold is to use that as part of your stretch. Now this one's a little low, but you see what I'm doing here? You just place your arms on it and fold over it. I like to do this at my desk at work. And again, you can widen your stance here, or if this doesn't work, you could use the wall and just lean into it. Whatever works. And again, I have tons of videos on YouTube for you all. So now we've got our forward fold, slowly come back up one vertebrae at a time to standing and then roll out your neck. How are we feeling? 
And then just to make sure that we get our legs warmed up, again, if you need to use a wall or a chair, we're just gonna do some kicks, like if you're swimming, like a frog stroke. Just kick those legs out. And then focus on flexing the foot going forward and then kicking and pointing the toes on the way back. I've never actually done ballet or bar, but maybe there's a similar movement that you want to take here. Good. And then if you're swooping one way, remember to swoop the other way. This is going to feel different. Notice that difference. Breathe here. And then come to stillness and do the same thing on the other side, finding that other side motion. Again, flexing forward, pointing back, warming up your hips, legs, and ankles. And keep doing that. Remember to go the other direction. And once you're warmed up, why don't we come back to the chat and tell me what kind of yoga class you want. As you go through your yoga adventure, are you ready to just bliss out, be relaxed? Do you want to have some stretching and maybe a little bit of exertion? Or do you want to burn some calories this morning? Samu Dash is saying, pump it up. Does anyone vote otherwise? Come on over to the Trotcorn Discard proxy stage and share your vote. Remember, even if your choice is not the winner, you can do it because this is your adventure. <clears throat> okay, we've got two votes for moderate. One more minute. And again, get some water if you want here. Let's see what else is in my little book of tricks. <laughs> All right, we've got votes for moderate. So I have to go through my dungeon manual really quickly and find out what we're gonna do. Moderate, not cardio. And again, your choice, if you wanna do more of that. Oh, I have one more question for you. Let me give you this one too. Oops. <laughs> that was a dungeon. <laughs> Here's a good one. We'll look at this one too. What part of your body do you want to focus on? It could be both, uh, it could be all of them, but if there's a specific portion of your body that you want to focus on as we go through a moderate level yoga class, let me know now. There we go. Oh my gosh, I gotta take a photo of this. This is good stuff, you guys. Okay, what part of the body do you wanna use here? Lower back hips. That's all right. Again, you can do what works for you. So it looks like we're gonna be doing a little bit with our lower back, hips, in a moderate pace. And get rid of that one, keep this one, move that one. You guys are good. Here we go. Okay. 
I feel like I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right, so again, for yoga, you do what feels right for you. And because we're gonna be doing a lot of our lower back and hips, make sure that there's no pain and that you have the movement that you need, okay? So first off, let's go down onto our hands and knees. We're gonna do some cat-cow. Really good for your hips. Um, and again, if you need a cushion or a blanket or a towel under your knees, go ahead and find that. You're going onto all fours, spreading your weight evenly across your hands, knees, and feet. And then you just exhale, arch your back, inhale, shine your chest forward. So exhaling into cat. Then inhale into cow. And again, since this is your adventure, if you want to do extra movement, whether it's swinging your hips, maybe you're looking from side to side, find movement to help you warm up that lower hip and spine area. Breathing. And then definitely invite those hips to start moving forward and backward here. Maybe you have to walk your hands a little bit forward or back. If you've been with me for yoga before, you know I love to go into this very deep stretch. It may or may not work for you, but I just put my hands forward like a plank and then I drop those hips and really open up that lower back holding myself steady with my arms here. This is a cobra. Very deep in your lower back. So if you're not ready yet, we'll come back to it later, but I like to warm up with it. And then push back. We're going into child's pose. Wide knees, feet together, sink your hips onto your feet and then walk your hands and rest forward. Take a couple more breaths here. And then what we're gonna do is walk yourself back up here. Tuck your toes under. We're gonna go into a downward facing dog. So if you're in a chair here, you can do a forward fold. And down dog, you're pushing your tailbone back, trying to make a V. The weight should be in your fingertips and toes here, or maybe a little bit on the bottom of your hands, but not in the middle of your hands. It's almost like a suction cup with your hands. Neck should be loose. Shake your head yes and no. Maybe pedal those feet a little bit. And we're gonna start warming up that back and hips again by lifting up your right foot, flexing the toes and just holding here, breathing. Then lower it down, other side, lifting the left leg. Good, and then place it down. And then if you want here, you can walk your feet forward, coming into another forward fold. Notice how different this one feels. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. And then folding down, you're going to plant your hands and then walk your feet back or you can go through a flow here if that works for you. We're going back to your down dog and then drop your knees here, coming back to all fours. Untuck your toes, stay flat. Notice how your back feels now. We're going to do the same thing we did in our dog, lifting your right leg, flexing your foot here. Look down at the mat just a little above your hands. And then maybe try and pump your leg a little bit, bouncing it, using those glutes. And then plant your foot, keeping your leg long to do a little leg stretch here. Like if you had to run away from the creature in the dungeon. You gotta get those slime points, protect your slime orbs. Okay, and then from here, Bring your knee, tuck it in, and try to pull it into your chest. So you're pulling your knee in here. And then plant it down. Center yourself here. Then the other leg. Push it back. Hold. Nice centered balance. Don't tilt your hips too much. 
and then maybe start to flex your leg, bouncing here. And then planting it, keeping that leg long and getting into your lunge. Good job. And then tucking your knee in, just a little curl, and then plant it down. All right. Now tuck your toes under. We're gonna go back into our dogs and do another flow. So first, walking your feet forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, coming all the way up. Hands come together. This time we're sinking into a wide-legged squat. So just like a goddess squat. So you're, you step wide and then you go like this. And it's going to really open up your hips here. Hands come back. This is goddess. Two more breaths. And then pushing up, come into standing. Breathe here. And then arms up. This is five-pointed star. Roll those shoulders back. And then forward fold, wide-legged fold here. Good. Inhale, halfway lift in the wide fold, using your abs here. And then fold again. Maybe this time notice if you can put your hands on your legs, if you have that block, if you want to rotate your fingers and face them backwards. For the adventure, try a different place for your hands to be, whether it's on your hips, arms. If you do a bind, look at this. Do what works for you. Have fun. Adventure. Breathe. <laughs> and then fold. From here, maybe try to walk your hands forward, going into a wide-legged plank. And then drop your knees back to child's pose. Great work. Your body starts to feel warm as we go into the next portion of our adventure. What will be the main section of our yoga? Take a drink if you need to and get ready to vote again. For the next portion of your yoga class, do you want to do vinyasa flows where you're going up and down like we've been doing? Do you want to do some warrior poses where you stand still and hold strength while standing? Or would you just like to try a couple of fun animal poses? The choice is yours. Go on to Discord proxy stage and make your vote now. Warrior, warrior, okay. I'll give you another 30 seconds, get some water, get ready. So far it looks like warriors go in the winner. Oops. All right. As our adventurers decide to become true warriors, they enter the main stage of yoga. Let's do it, everybody. All right. So for warriors, we're going to start from standing just to go through them so you understand there are three different warriors. Think of them as classes, right? So the first one if you're standing with your feet like on rails here, and then you want to rotate your back foot 45 degrees, your front foot, again, the distance between your feet is going to change depending on how you feel, and the width, the width can change too. So you have to find the width and the length that works for you. So your back foot's at a 45 degree angle, your front knee is bent, the knee should not go past the foot. And then rotate those hips 
to face forward. You want to have a little bend in the back knee, big bend in the front knee. These are the legs for the warriors. Breathe here. And if you want to do something with your arms here, feel free. This is just for those folks that are getting accustomed to the warriors. So now we're going to switch sides. Other foot forward, back foot 45 degree angle, knees bent, and find that width and the length. Let's cook your robot. The width and length that works for you. Then rotate those hips to face forward and feel those warrior legs. So again, this actually fits perfectly with our theme for the lower back and hips. Breathe here. And then we're gonna come back to standing here. Just gonna shake out those legs. Remember how we did those stretches at the beginning? And you pull your knees up here. And now we're gonna go into our first warrior. So step that right foot forward, back foot 45 degree angles, knees bent, width and length of your choice. Inhale, twisting that torso forward, arms come up, shoulders roll back. So your shoulders shouldn't be squishing in. Open them up, but keep the arms straight. This is your warrior one. The difference between the warrior one and the crescent is the crescent, your foot is rotated straight out. If it feels better, you can do crescents here. The only difference is your heel is up and your foot's facing forward as opposed to the warrior where your foot is down and at an angle. That's it. Do what works for you. Warrior one. Now to put the flow together, you lean forward and plant your hands here. And again, if you need blocks or something, you can do that. And the idea is then you like adjust your feet, step into plank and do a flow back to down dog. Then you take your left foot and remember that tuck that we did before? Step your foot through and then using your balance, find your way back up to warrior on the other side. Back foot down, 45 degree angle, front knee bent, width, length of your choice. Arms up, shoulders back and down, breathe here. Keep those hips nice and forward. Warrior one. Nice work. Now, here we go again, folding down, planting your hands, stepping back into plank. Maybe taking a flow here, we're meeting back in down dog. Breathe. And if you ever need to come to child's pose or take a break, do that. It's your adventure. Inhale, right leg up, stepping through, back to warrior one. Find your balance, find your strength. Channel it through the navel. And then the next part of the warrior is reverse warrior. Actually, we'll do warrior two. So this is warrior one. Warrior two, you open your chest like that five-pointed star, keeping the legs still. Arms come out to a T, and then you look forward over your front middle finger. Breathe. You're gonna feel like your legs are sandwiched inside the walls that are closing in. Like it's very skinny this way, the surfing. Warrior two. And if you want, you can look at your back shoulders. You can flip your arms up and down, make the shoulder rotation if it feels good. Breathe here, warrior two. Tuck in that belly, stay strong. Keep a little bend in that back knee. And then for the reverse warrior, flip your front palm up and you're gonna lean backwards, just tilting back. Your arms can come to your leg and you look up if it feels good. This is your reverse warrior. It can be very intense, so if it doesn't work for you, you can just do it with one arm, you can do straight. You do anything you want, but you're opening your chest and then going into it. Good. And then we're gonna come back, rotate your hips forward, 
planting your hands, guess what? We're going back again through another flow if you want, or you can just switch sides here. This time, left foot up, tucking it through, stepping into warrior one. And I'm just gonna turn around so I'm not shading my butt too much. Open into warrior two. So warrior one, warrior two. Breathe here. Gaze across your middle tip, a finger, shoulders back. This is a little intense, we'll keep it moderate. Then for reverse warrior, tipping back, flipping the front palm, maybe a little back bend if that feels good to you. Breathe, reverse warrior. So we've done warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior. Great work. Now take your arms, warrior two, spin forward, warrior one. Plant your hands, step back, go through a flow, or take a break if you want. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water. Okay, now comes the tricky part. And for that, I think we need to figure out the last part of our quest here. Because before you know it, we're gonna be done here, adventurers. So, as we go through the next part of our yoga adventure, how do you wanna finish? How do you wanna finish? There's two questions. When we cool down, do you wanna just do balance poses? Do you wanna do some stretches using a wall? Or do you just wanna flop down on the floor? So that's one, two, or three. And then we're gonna have Savasana, our final rest. As we cool down, once we're there, do you just wanna have silence for like five minutes? Do you want me to lead a body scan where I talk about your body parts and help you to focus on each part of your body to relax? Or do you want an adventure guided meditation to help you escape for a little bit, relax, and then come back to the world. Vote one, two, three, A, B, C for the last portion. Okay, we got a one C, mm, nice choice. I feel like you should roll for a, okay, we got another C. Roll for initiative, right? Okay, I'm saying floor, floor. One balance, I'll give you another 30 seconds. I gotta get some water here. Okay. A couple more typing, unless they're just hanging out. Oh, <laughs> it's a dice roll that shows a botch. Well, in that case, you would probably Stop working out without cooling down, which is a horrible thing to do in yoga. Always take time to cool down. Yeah, always take time to cool down. Okay, thanks for your votes, everybody. Now, okay, based on this, since we've done the warriors, we have to do one more warrior before we can go into what seems to be the consensus of on the floor and then a guided meditation. So, we'll take that. I will lower this since we're gonna be on the floor. Oh yeah, so here's all my plans. <laughs> this is good stuff, you guys. All right. There we go. All right, so we did our warriors. We're gonna come back to standing and finish them up with a warrior three, if this is available. So this is that balance. Uh, if you want to do more after this, feel free. Warrior three is difficult, so if you need to use the wall, a chair, a table, anything to hold on to, feel free. So first off, we'll step into our warrior one. Back heel back, front knee bent, arms up. What's interesting about it is you're supposed to, you're supposed to, right? You can do anything you want. Pull your hands into a prayer here, or maybe even like airplane arms, and you're supposed to start to shift your balance and launch into your foot, right? If that doesn't work, you can start from standing and just try and stand on your foot. But if you wanna do the warrior transition, starting from the mighty dungeon master, 
You're going to fly forward into your front foot. And if this is good, that's good. Your arms can be back. You can do prayer. But the idea is to keep a little bend in your knee and then rotate your body down, kicking a foot back so that your foot is flexed into warrior three. Hands can be forward like Superman. They can be back. You can hold on to things, but this is warrior three. Woo. And if your foot's shaking, that's a good thing. Your gaze should be down. And then if you're ready, try and float back <laughs> into that warrior. They make it this amazing flow, right? But not everybody can do that, so find what works for you. And here, let's go into another five-pointed star instead of that warrior two. Do a forward fold here. Notice how different it feels. Inhale, halfway lift. Then walk your hands to the other side of the mat, so you're doing the other side. Inhale, lift yourself with your core into warrior one. Look at that, we changed sides. Good job. And now, find the way into your warrior on the other side. So I'm shifting my legs, finding a way to balance on my left foot this time, flexing the back foot that's floating, trying to come into my warrior. And everyone's warrior is different. Find what works for you. Breathe here. <laughs> and then when you're ready, try and float back into your warrior one. Nice work. Come back into your wide five-pointed star. And then adjust the legs. We're going to sink down to the ground using a yogi squat. So hands come up. This is our last hip stretch. And you sink down. And you can stay here. You can put a block underneath. We're just going to hold this for about 20 seconds. And I'm going to adjust. Let me see my plans in all their glory. There we go. And then when you're ready, come on down to the floor where we're going to finish our workout. Can you believe we only have 20 minutes left? Oof. All right, so for the floor, the first thing we gotta do is stretch out these hips and our legs, because we've done a lot with them today. So I'm gonna start off with, by putting my feet straight out. I'm going like over here, there we go. And just sit tall, place your hands by your sides. Catch your breath. That's good work. This is Marichi or staff pose. If you want, you can put your hands forward, keep your back straight. Maybe start to lean forward, keeping the spine straight. Straight spine. And then maybe invite a little bit of a bend. You can let your head go into our forward fold here and hold that. Then inhale up. We're going to take our right knee and pull it in. Start to stretch these hips out. Now you have two choices here. To do a twist, you can either just twist over your knee like this, or you can take your foot over your leg for a deeper hip stretch, and then you twist across your arm so you're hooking it. Find what works for you and breathe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little more. And then we get to untwist. If you had your leg crossed, uncross it, but then let the hip open. So you're making like a number four with your legs here. Sit up straight. And then just use this again. You can either, I'm not gonna rotate here. <laughs> you can either just fold over your leg here, or if you want a side stretch, again, your choice, you can actually inhale 
and do a side stretch over your leg instead of a normal leg stretch here. And it's gonna be very intense, so find what works for you. And look wherever your gaze says your neck needs to be for this stretch. Good. When you're ready, come back up. And now magically, we've got our legs kind of wide already, so let's take a wide-legged forward fold. Sit up straight, and then fold with your back straight. So I do like, I have no flexibility in this pose. Keeping your back straight. And then if you want to bend in, you can fall forward. And if you need to use a block or anything like that, you can do that here. Just relax into this wide-legged forward fold to whatever depth works for you. Breathe here. If you're at the edge where you feel a little pain back off, in yoga, you really wanna find your edge, but then don't go to it. Step back just a little. Give yourself a little ease. Three more breaths here. And then slowly come on back up. This time we're gonna tuck our other leg in. First, we have to kind of open back all the way to that forward fold and pull your knee in. And again, we're gonna be doing a twist here. So either twisted like this, or if you cross your leg over and then twist your body across, finding Marici's pose, Lord of the Fishes, whatever one that you would like. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. And then when you're ready, start to unwind, pull your knee in and then let it fall open to the number four on this side. Again, option for your normal fold over the extended leg or inhale, side stretch, twisting your torso out and leaning over that leg. Breathe here and find where your neck wants to be. Looking up, down, sideways. Find that stretch. Breathing here. Again, if you find that edge, maybe back off just a little. Give yourself a little bit of ease. And then come back in. This time we're gonna take butterfly. So you can either do a seated butterfly because your, your feet are gonna come together and you're gonna have a wide leg here. And you can sit up here or you can fold over. Or if you want, you can go to your back. Your feet are still gonna make that nice diamond shape and you just come down to your back. Butterfly. And your hands can be out wide, they can be behind you. Find what butterfly works for you to really relax those hips that we've worked out today. And if you want, and you have it, you can put a towel, a pillow, or a block under your knees if that makes it feel better. Again, lots of options on my YouTube channel. And then relax and do your butterfly. Start to find stillness. We're gonna do a couple more poses after this. But this will be it for our hips. We'll be here for about another minute. We're gonna let go. Maybe see if pulling in your feet or maybe stretching out and making that diamond longer feels better or worse. As you settle into yoga poses, often it begins to Allow the deeper parts of your joints and sinew to relax. It gives you a little bit more than you had at the beginning. Let's see where your body is right now. And you can 
can stay here. If, if it feels right, this is your adventure. Otherwise, extend your legs out and just lay flat for a moment. Just notice how it feels. Notice those hips, maybe flop those legs. And we're gonna pull our knees up. So if you wanna do windshield wipers here with your knees up and then you flop them side to side, that might feel really good. And wherever we are, we're gonna meet back with our knees up, heels tucked under. We're gonna first do a couple of twists. So if there's a side twist that talks to you right now, do it. We're gonna pull one knee in, extend the other leg out. I like to do ankle rolls here. Again, your adventure, your choice. Pull that knee a little tighter, and then you're gonna use your, your opposite arm to guide the knee across your body into a twist. In this twist, you should keep your shoulder blades down and only go as far as works for you. Your knee can stay bent, you can straighten your leg, it's real, or you can even plant your foot here. It's whatever works for you. Find that twist that talks to you today. We'll be here for about 30 seconds. Remember to keep those shoulders down. Maybe invite your gaze to go the opposite direction of your knee. Find relaxation, find peace. Three more breaths. And then bring your knee back up. Give it a hug. If you'd like, I sometimes like to open my knee the other way since we've done a lot with our hips. And just give it a waggle. And pull it in. Switch sides, hugging in the other knee. And then when you're ready, crossing over at the other side. Again, keep those shoulder blades down. Find your twist on the other side. Breathing here. I'm gonna be here for about 30 seconds. Three more breaths. And then unwind here again, deciding if you want to open up your hip on the other side. And then pull your knees in. Planting your feet down. An option here for one last inversion. If you want to do bridge, legs up the wall. If you want to do um, legs up like a, a headstand. Plow, any of those, go ahead. We're gonna do bridge here. So you're just gonna plant your hands so your fingertips are almost brushing your feet. And then you're just gonna press down with your feet, shoulders, hands, and lift your hips a little bit. Just lifting your hips up. Spiral your legs inwards, like they're pressing together here. Don't let your knees fall out. And then exhale, let it down. We're gonna do one more. Inhale. And on the exhale, push up, maybe doing a deeper back bend into bridge. And then let yourself down. Find any last movements you need before we go into Shavasana, the final resting pose. You can do this seated, or you can do it laying down. You might want a blanket if it's a little cool. You want to stretch your legs out. Find your arms. Relaxed palms can be down for grounding or up to receive energy. Maybe you nod your head back and forth. Just let everything go. And because you all voted for our guided meditation, as you finally settle in, I will prepare that for you.
Okay. You're finding your final relaxation here. You've gone through the yoga adventure. Finding peace as you settle in. Eyes heavy. As you fall into your breath. Notice your body. Notice how it feels. As you begin to welcome peace into the last part of your adventure. As you begin this journey, keeping your eyes closed, I'll guide you through meditation and bring you back. You begin to notice in front of you what looks to be colors of the rainbow shimmering in the distance, almost like an aurora. Start to wander in your mind's eye towards those colors feels like you're almost going upstairs, each step slowly taking you towards that light, that shining rainbow aurora. In your first step, you begin to notice all of those worries, all that stress begins to melt away. And on the second step, you begin to find yourself in the state of relaxation. The third step, you need to focus more on the shimmering light, the rainbows dancing ahead, the feeling of calm that it's giving off. And with the fourth step, you begin to make out more what color is the primary color that's really shining and speaking to you? And with the fifth step, you begin to get very close to this shining aurora. You see the colors brightly and you can tell that this is some sort of magic, a portal to another world. And without any hesitation or fear, just the feeling that this is calmness and peace, you step through that colored portal. And on the other side, you see not a creepy dungeon, but just a relaxed, cozy interior of a cave. It's a treasure vault. Your adventure has taken you to a place where your slime faction has decided to store all of its treasure. Things that you've always wanted to see. Shiny, bright, maybe fuzzy. Maybe there's some soft fuzzy plushies. What is the treasure that you see in here? What calls to you? You need to wander thinking of all the treasure. Let's see if an item starts to call to you. An item, maybe a creature, maybe something that was casting that magic. And as you begin to seek that treasure, you realize that the treasure itself is of course being able to get here. Maybe you take up that treasure you found or maybe you just gaze at it. How's it feel? Cool to the touch or soft? Does it make any noises like the clinkling of coins? Maybe the whispers of a magic wand? Whatever your treasure is, it has magic imbued in it. And that magic 
is whispering to you now, telling you a message, that victory message, that achievement that you have received. Take a moment now to listen to what your treasure is telling you. You know there's always more to hear. This can't be the end. And yet, this part of the adventure, you've gotten something to treasure. And you remember that it will be here in this little vault, in this little magic world, and you can come back to it at any time. But for now, you know, you must take what you've learned and return. Say farewell to the room, maybe give it a final gaze, maybe do a final ritual with whatever that little treasure was. Be at peace, being thankful for this visit. And when you're ready, turn back to that shimmering magic portal. Notice the color of the portal is even brighter now, calling to you, telling you there's time for another adventure and then step through it, back to the stairs. And with the fifth step, you begin to move forward happy and calm. The fourth step, you find yourself totally at peace as you're walking back down towards the next step of your life. And with the third step, you begin to notice again the sounds around you and the future that is laying at the bottom for you. With the second step, you begin to notice your body again, how travel weary it may be after this adventure, or maybe you feel completely refreshed and ready for the next one. And with that last step down back into the real world, you notice the shimmering behind you one last time, the magic fading away, but knowing that that magic is in you, that this was your adventure, and that you can come back here at any time. And with that, you begin to notice the feeling of the ground beneath you and the air on your skin. You take a deep breath in, let it out and begin to bring gentle movements into your body. Maybe even coming into a big body stretch as you begin to wake up from this wonderful adventure that we all shared together. And you move forward, maybe rolling to one side, just as a moment to come back to yourself and then find a way to a gentle seat your eyes can be closed, so you can have a gentle gaze. Pull your shoulders back and realize that this is the beginning of day two of TrotCon Online and there's a lot more fun and adventure to be had. Inhale, arms up, and draw your hands to heart center. I am Riftwing Designs as Spike the Dragon for this TrotCon Online Choose Your Own Yoga Adventure. And I thank you for practicing with me today. Think of that intention you had. Decide if you wanna continue that adventure. Inhale up one more time, big exhale. And our last breath for our practice, inhale. Let everything go. And I thank you again for being here with me today. Namaste, thank you all for being here and enjoy the rest of TrotCon online. I'll be in the chat for a little bit for questions. And with that, I wish you a fantastic adventure. Thank you everybody.